Developments in consumer drone technology have revolutionized industries such as photography, filmmaking, and surveying. But another industry stands to benefit a lot from drones as well. That is the agriculture industry. Agri-tech is short for agricultural technology. It is basically the use of technology in agriculture. To improve core's yield, efficiency, and profitability, let us look at how DJI's Agris T30 and Agris T10 aim to completely change how we grow and nurture our food. How do drones help in agriculture? So, you might be wondering how do drones help in agriculture? What can a drone exactly do that can help increase yield and productivity from a field? Well, a lot, actually. The first thing that agricultural drones are helpful for is to spray insecticide and herbicide on the crops. Eventually this is either done by a hand sprayer for smaller fields and by a plane for larger ones. But drones can replace both methods easily since they can quickly cover large areas and can be automated. You don't need a pilot to fly the drone. Drones come with autonomous capabilities. The drone is fed the places it needs to cover and then the drone can be left to do its thing. This is also cheaper than flying a plane over large fields, you can use multiple drones instead. It would be far more efficient and would cost less money per acre covered. T30, this is where DJI steps in. They are known for their drones all over the world. So now they bring that excellence to the agricultural sector. The flagship digital agriculture by DJI is the Agris T30. It comes with a 30-liter spray tank that can spread a payload of about 40 kgs. It has 16 nozzles to efficiently spread its payload at a max range of 9 meters. This gives the Agris T30 extensive coverage, even distribution, and strong penetration of the spray. In terms of speed and efficiency, the DJI Agris T30 can cover an area of 40 acres in under an hour. And if you are wondering that the Agris T30 might get water damaged working with fluids all day, DJI has already thought of that. The Agris T30 is IP67 water and dust resistant. The Agris T30 control module has a fully enclosed structure for added durability. This is ideal for the long-term use of pesticides and fertilizers and helps resist dust and corrosion. The Agris T30 also comes with a dual FPV camera for better monitoring by the operator. One FPV camera at the front and one FPV camera at the back. The T30 uses a spherical radar system. By making a 3D spherical digital bubble around itself to sense changes in the environment like obstacles. This helps the Agris T30 avoid obstacles in all kinds of weather conditions, even with high dust and light interference. The best part about the T30 is its portability. The Agris T30 can be folded by 80%, making it easier to transport. This folding mechanism uses quick snap locking for faster and safer packing. It also reduces redundancies, and there is an in-app alert to help ensure the T30 is safe to operate. You can do a GRI tech these days without autonomous flight capabilities, and DJI has that covered as well. It has full autonomous features built in. You can just select the area you need to cover, and the drone will automatically calculate the optimal route that it needs to fly to cover the whole area. The system also monitors how much fluid is left in the tank and how much battery life it has so it can return before the battery dies out or the fluid tank is empty. Talking about the battery, the DJI Agris T30 has a 29,000 mAh battery pack. The T30 comes with two batteries and a charging station to continue uninterpreted operations. The T30 battery station provides 7,200 watts of charging power and can charge each battery in 10 minutes. The Agris T30 also has a cutting-edge cloud-based 3D farming platform built into it. His platform has an AI recognition system to patrol fields, identify growth, monitor disease or pests, and monitor agricultural conditions efficiently. This way, the T30 just doesn't work as a spraying system but as a surveying drone. T10, the DJI Agris T10 is like the smaller brother of Agris T30. It offers almost the same features, but it is a smaller and more compact drone and doesn't have all the bells and whistles. The T10 has a smaller 8-liter tank. With the T10, you can expect a sprayer range of 5 meters instead of the 9 meters on T30. And it can cover an area of 15 acres per hour as compared to the 40 acres per hour of the T30. The T10 also comes with a far smaller 9500 mAh battery. Both the battery pack on T10 and the T30 are guaranteed for up to 1,000 charge cycles. The charging station with the DJI Agris T10 provides 3,600 watts of charging power and can charge a battery in 7 minutes. 
The T10 does have all the other features like IP67 dust and water resistance. It also has the same AI-based cloud platform that comes with the T30 to help monitor your farmland. Just think of it as a far smaller and compact version of the T10 that can be deployed a little faster than the T30. Concluding remarks, DJI promises a 5km range for stable image transmission for both the T30 and T10. The T30 and T10 are available in over 100 countries worldwide, including in North America and Europe. To date, in 2021, over 50,000 Agra's drones have been sold worldwide. The DJI Agra's lineup aims to change how we do agriculture for the better. Do let us know in the comment section what will be the future of agriculture. Thanks for watching.